This is a video of our 1978 Great Divide 11 foot slide in camper, all original. Original exterior, original skin, original paint, original interior. It sits on my 1974 F350 Super Camper Special. Um, I just sold the camper. Um, I bought this original. Um, it sat indoors for most of its life. Um, I restored it, it didn't need much. But um, I uh, replaced all the screws and the molding and polished it up and so forth. Everything works on it, the refrigerator. There's no hail damage whatsoever. Um, I restored all the trim so it uh, removed the oxidation, what little it had, and all of the uh, different screws, Just polished everything up. Never been camping in it. It's just one of my toys. I own about three vintage different kinds of campers and trailers and RVs. So I'm just taking a short video before I before it goes. It's a real beauty. It looks good on this truck. I'm gonna miss it. Had it in some car shows. People love going in and out of it. Um, I'll take a picture of the interior in a minute. It's surprisingly light um, for an 11 foot front kitchen model. It, uh, according to the original build sheet that I still have, it uh, weighs 1,935 pounds, which is pretty light. Foot Mitchell that weighs over 3,000 pounds, and I've had a Lance that also weighed over 3,000 pounds. But here's the original, the original drapes. Original linoleum. It has a nice big picture window. Smooth ceiling, kind of a wallpaper on there. No leaks whatsoever. Original slider here. Still has the original tag in it. Propane light fixture, which a lot of the 70s had. Uh, has a forced air furnace. Works perfectly. Has a bathroom, which I love of it. You either love it or you hate it. Vintage 70s, all in black. The circulating toilet. There's no shower in this. It was an option, but this didn't have it. closet. Here's the original belt sheet there. Has a two-way refrigerator, gas and electric. Works perfectly on both. Freezer. I like these hardwood valances it has everywhere. It's all original. Clean 
index box holder, slide for hex. Has a hot water heater, demand water pump. Has this cool little divider from the 70s. I like that. Foam battery oven four burner stove. Not a big window there. Water tank sits under here. I kind of uh, polished and redid all of the paneling in it. Here's the original bubble gauge from the factory, Great Divide, built in Commerce City, local in Colorado. It's an awesome campground, I miss it. Original jacks, hydraulic Rico jacks on it. Little propane bottles. I did get all of the trim for it. A lot of them don't have them anymore. It does have an aftermarket awning that I think is probably put on around 1980. Again, it's a good looking rig. I think. The truck has 43,000 miles on it, all original. It's pretty impressive that there's no hail damage on this, especially in Colorado. I've hand waxed it. Even you can see good siding, good shine.
have a uh, 1979 11-foot Mitchell Castle fully restored. It's much larger than this, meaning higher, heavier. Sits on a truck. Uh, it's 100% original too. But um, I'm focusing some of my efforts on my recently acquired 1978 25-foot Mitchell motorhome. 46,000 miles on it. So, too many projects. But I found a good home for this to people that purchased it. Don't really have intentions of recamping, camping in it, but are also going to keep it as a vintage and use it for show. So, that makes me happy. Well, that's it. I just kind of wanted to take this last video of it before it goes. Uh, thank you for watching.